Hello, welcome to Agisoft MetaShape. Welcome to the third part of the tutorial uh, Agisoft MetaShape. Now we have our clean sparse cloud. At this point, we need to develop the point cloud. This is a very straightforward process. You go to workflow and you click directly on build point cloud. Once again, you can choose the quality. We have time, that's why we go to high. And on the advanced setting, we can choose between mild, moderate and aggressive. If you choose aggressive, you will have uh, more details like trees, cars and pigs. If you choose moderate, you will have a more soft result. Since uh, I am interested on the orthophoto only and on the digital terrain model for the control line and eventually floating analysis, I will choose mild. And here we can also activate the point color and calculate the point confidence. And you go. This process will take most probably a long time. After almost five hours, we got the dense point cloud of around 94 million points. This is the dense point cloud. The next point, we can classify the ground point. We go to tools, point cloud, classify ground points. Here we have this mask. We take the points from any classes and we give the parameter the angle 30.5 it's a good angle this means that every abrupt changes on the slope of maximum 30.5 degree is considered main
now you can see all the shelters have been taken away all the trees have been taken away but of course it is still not perfect saving the project can take time if you have a huge amount of points like in my case 56 million points i go for a coffee and i can display this point cloud in several ways this is the solid way i can display it on color and this gives me an idea about the situation here where i have the white spot those are the peaks that have been cleaned while processing the ground point i can also show the classes but since i have only ground point i will see only ground and here you see empty spots or i can also show the elevation that's it or i can also show the confidence the quality so the blue is good quality and the red is bad quality at this point i can build my model you go to workflow and build the model this might take some time you can build the model from the point cloud or from the depth maps i build it from the point cloud since it's already ground point here you can choose 3d or 2.5d 3d it's good for buildings and 2.5d is good for cartography and base count we choose a medium number and we go it says you that it recommends to do the model from the depth map but we do it from the point cloud and the process might take some time again now we have our 3d model with 3 million faces this will be the base for our orthophoto especially and as well for your dam if the model is too big you can decimate the model you go to tools model decimate the model from 3 million 700 face we can go down to 1 million and the quality will not decrease a lot again this might take some time okay now you see here on the left the 3d model used to have 3.7 million faces and now we have it on 1 million faces only and the quality will not change a lot now it is time to check the quality of our model and here i can display the model in a different way i have the solid display and i have the model wireframe if you look at the solid display you see plenty of peaks which are not really realistic since i want a smooth contour line i need to take away those small peaks which may be trees or just you see for example here there it was a house which was properly clean but around the house it is bad how to do it you click on tools you click on model and smooth model here you can put the strength i always put once and i see the result take some time okay you see a big difference but still i still have too many peaks once again tools model smooth once okay maybe once again tools model smooth okay okay now it looks nice it looks much better i wonder what it is what those peaks are let's go to model and shaded to see okay there are might be some uh, there might be some trees probably okay i do it once again and for the last time model and smooth and okay now my model looks smooth 
and I save. The model it seems to be fine. We do not have holes on it. It looks rather smooth. For our purpose, there is no need to build the texture and to build the tiled model. In the next chapters, we are going to build the digital elevation model and the ortho mosaic and we are going to export. Thank you for watching.